Captain Marvel issue 18 heads to space where a Kree Skrull alliance ship is fired on by the Katari, despite them sending out pleas for help. The ship begins losing shields and the men aboard know their fates have been sealed, but the radar soon picks up something coming in fast. That something is Captain Marvel, who, using the newly acquired Accuser Universal Hammer, blows apart the Katari ship. Using the hammer, Carol restores power to the alliance ship, allowing them to send a hail to the command ship to aid them in rejoining the armada. Later on the command ship, Carol Carol meets with Emperor Hulkling, finding it strange to be called the Accuser, but she knows the Alliance needs this, but time will tell if this is what she needs. She tells Hulkling about the ship she rescued and the Katari warship that she destroyed, not finding anything else in the perimeter, but destroyed vessels. She mentions the ship was found powerless, and it's worth noting that its hails were ignored by the Katari. Hulkling asks about survivors, but Carol left none alive. Leaving the throne room, Carol feels the weight of everything around her, and now it's making her tired. Susan catches up with her, knowing Carol had something else to say in the throne room but didn't. Carol says that she knows the hammer is powerful and it's a huge honour to carry it and while holding it feels right, she's still very unsure of it. Susan thinks that it will just take some time getting used to as Ben arrives with some bad news. Heading back into the throne room, Hulkling tells Carol that while he's sorry he has to ask this of her, it is now her job, so with that in mind, he asks her to finally accuse someone for him. Speeding off to the planet Mardane, Carol is told by a hologram of Hulkling that what he has to tell her is deeply disturbing, and he didn't want to discuss it in the throne room. He tells her that this is of great importance, revealing that when she gets to the planet, she will find Kinal, an experimental city that was meant to be a sanctuary for the Alliance, since it was supposed to be where the Kree and Scrolls can live peacefully, and now it has been turned to ash. Carol is shocked at what she sees on the planet, finding this was all done by a single Kree soldier who has been pinned down defending herself, and it's now up to Carol to bring the Alliance justice. Leaving her ship, Carol heads out to the Alliance forces on the ground, feeling the weight of her hammer that she knows she took since she is a soldier and she is in need of a powerful weapon, but also because thanks to her Kree heritage, she knows what it means to carry it. She does admit to herself that she dodged that bit of her life quite a bit, especially after learning her mother was half Kree, but holding the hammer makes it harder to avoid all of these questions. Joining the soldiers, they bow to her, saying their commander is coming to greet the accuser. Carol knows that, that they have the Kree soldier pinned down, but learns that she is cunning, and that she has deployed many traps, and her weapons have killed many of the soldiers. Carol is impressed that one soldier is keeping this entire platoon at bay, but the Alliance soldier says that the woman was bred to be the best, but now she proves to be the worst, and is a deep stain and embarrassment to the Kree. Carol dismisses the soldiers, racing into the battle field and blowing the Kree woman from her cover, quick to tell the soldier who she is and how she is wanted for her crimes. The soldier wants her to confirm that she is indeed Carol Danvers of Earth, immediately surrendering to her. She reveals her name is Laurie L and has dreamed of meeting Captain Marvel for so long. Carol is caught off guard but hands down her sentence as accuser. The woman accepts her charges but says that she is innocent since although being born and bred for war, she has no taste for it and she didn't commit these crimes against her people. People. However, she will accept judgment. Carol puts the hammer to the woman's head, allowing her to see the divine truth, which shows her that L'Oreal's mother was Mariel, meaning the woman in front of her is her half-sister. Carol asks why she never said anything, but Laurie says that it didn't seem fair considering what Carol has been tasked with. Laurie feels grateful to have finally seen Carol with her own eyes as Carol activates the hammer. Later on, Carol leaves the planet, revealing that she didn't kill her sibling, causing the Alliance soldiers to contact Hulkling, telling him his accuser has disobeyed his orders. Captain Marvel issue 18 was an action-packed fun tie-in that added something very interesting to Carol's already interesting life, giving her the power of an accuser along with the weight that comes with it. I enjoyed we got right into what Carol's part in the Empire tie-in scene will be, giving her a clear mission that will no doubt test her resolve and feelings for the Kree and whether she should act on those feelings or betray them. The introduction of a half-sister is quite cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing how Carol's feelings for finding more of her family affect her role as accuser, since right off the bat she's already kind of disobeyed her orders, so it's going to be interesting to see her being made an enemy of the Kree-Skrull alliance. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.